Hey there, it's Blaine with Seven Sons Farms back with another fun and educational video about how your support of regenerative farming practices can have a big impact on the environment and the world around us. Um, it's our, our mission and passion at Seven Sons to raise clean, ethical food that you can be confident in when you feed your family. Uh, that's what gets us out of bed every day to do this work. And last week I shared a very interesting video. I encourage you to go back and watch it if you missed it about how we're using holistic planned grazing practices with our cattle to sequester far more carbon than what our cattle admit, admit each year, creating a, a negative carbon footprint each year on our farm and a cleaner air. But what I wanna talk about today is how that increased carbon that we're putting in the soil is also creating a cleaner water supply because we're able to absorb far more water in our soils each year because of the or increased organic matter. And so we measure that each year. Here's how this works. Every year we send um, soil samples off to a lab to measure many different things. And one of the, one of the major things that we're looking for is soil organic matter levels. So most farms that are farmed conventionally here in the Midwest will have soil organic matter levels of just one to 2%. And on our farm, after years of regenerative practices, we've increased soil organic matter levels uh, upwards to five to 6%. So from one to 2% to five to 6%. And here's why that is so impactful. For every 1% increase in organic matter, we increase the amount of carbon that we're holding by 10,000 pounds per acre. So when we go from 2% organic matter levels to 6%, that's an additional 40,000 pounds of carbon in the soil, sequestered. And that converts up to 20,000 gallons of water, additional water holding capacity for every 1% improvement in organic matter levels. So when we have a organic matter level um, of 6%, we're holding 120,000 gallons of water in every acre. So it's no secret that um, we have water quality supply, uh, issues uh, in, our, in our environment from the uh, lakes and rivers and streams, the, the algae blooms, that the dead zone in the Gulf of Mexico, that is being caused in large part by all the runoff and all the rainwater that doesn't stay in place because there's not enough organic matter in conventionally farmed soils. Why? Because all the carbon has been released through tillage and conventional farming practices and chemicals and that therefore creates an environment where the water doesn't stay in place. It washes off and washes all the chemicals and soil nutrients and literally topsoil into our rivers and streams. Not a good thing. The opposite is happening here. The water, when it rains here, it stays here, creating a, a healthier ecosystem and a healthier environment, and ultimately nutrient dense and rich foods for you to consume. That's it for now. I hope you found this video fun and educational.